Well, I think we can go ahead and get started uh, with the business meeting. Uh, thank you all for sticking around at the end here after two days of doing the virtual conference. Um, my name is Amanda Harlan. Um, as probably some of you, you recognize my voice now after I've talked so much. Uh, but anyway, I was, I'm the chair of the Ad Hoc Executive Committee uh, for the Central Plains Network for Digital Asset Management. And as I've mentioned throughout the conference, um, it's a regional network um, specifically focused on providing professional development, networking, and collaborative opportunities for professionals involved or interested in digital asset management, specifically for the five states area of Kansas, Colorado, Nebraska, Missouri, and Oklahoma. Um, so the work that has been done that the Ad Hoc Executive Committee has done throughout the year um, 2016 has been tremendous and a lot of it we couldn't have done with everybody and I definitely want to recognize each member of the Ad Hoc Executive Committee and I'm just going to list who they are and where they work at. Uh, Robin Hastings, uh, she is from the Northeast Kansas Library System, or known as Nichols. Uh, Beth Olertz, she's from Colorado State University. Sandy Rodriguez from University of Missouri, Kansas City. Lizzie Walker from Wichita State University. Kelly Weber from Washburn University. And Deborah White from Pittsburgh State University. Um, the work that they have done um, really has kind of uh, played out a found or laid out a foundation for the new executive committee uh, to work on for 2017, probably into 2018, and then also probably our business meeting is not going to last a full hour. Um, so I am going to hand it off to Kelly, who's going to make the announcement of who our new uh, members are for the executive committee for 2017 and 2018. Uh, Kelly, Thank you, Amanda, yeah, can everybody hear me? We can. Okay, great. I'm not too loud or anything obnoxious. No, nope, you are fine. All right. Um, I want to apologize first in case I mispronounce your name. I'm going to do my best, but um, these are the members of the new executive committee. Ann Riley from the University of Missouri. Muriel Green from uh, Nichols, Northeast Kansas Library System. Uh, myself from Washburn University. Amanda Harlan from Kansas State University, who will continue on as our new chair. Uh, Matthew Mariner from Aurora Library, Helen Bayer from University of Colorado at Boulder, Yumi O'Hira from University of Nebraska Omaha, Tara Kyle Carlisle from the University of Oklahoma, and Nicole Sumpcrether from Oklahoma State University. Thank you, Kelly, for announcing that. Um, you know, I have to mention, we, we were really pleased that we got uh, representatives from all the five states. That was really, truly our goal with the Ad Hoc Executive Committee, that we would have a representative from each state and also a few extra as members at large, because we wanted the new Executive Committee to reflect what we had stated in the bylaws that people have been voting on. Um, so the next thing on the agenda um, are the reports. Uh, we also have had a planning committee, which obviously planned the uh, conference that we just did, and also the design committee. Um, and I will just do that short report on those two um, committees. So for the design committee, um, that was made up of myself and Lena Marvin, who was from the University of Missouri, St. Louis. And the uh, design committee was tasked with designing the website for the network, creating the logo and wordmark, and a conference banner. Um, what we had done, since we didn't have the skill set, or at least the graphic design um, expertise, we outsourced that uh, to a graphic artist, uh, Tara Mincer, and she's actually our graphic artist here at Kansas State University, um, and she was willing to do that work for us. Um, and that wrapped up in about July, where she had created, if you look here at the slide, um, our word mark for CPN. Um, and then also um, on our next slide, I'll show later, is our actual uh, logo for the network. Um, and also, uh, in terms of the website, uh, Lena and I, we did that work. Uh, thankfully, we have digital comments here. And um, 
one of our centers uh, notified us that we could design the website that was given to us for the conference and make that our own uh, website for the network as a whole. And that's what we did, and it was free. So that's always a good thing when you're starting a network from ground up. Um, and then also we ended that, uh, the design of the website, uh, probably in the spring into the summer. Um, and also on our website, we really liked a photograph from a photographer and we reached out to him to get permission uh, to use that, not just on the website, or but any website that was affiliated with the network if we wanted to use it there. And he had given us permission for that too. So that is the work from the uh, design committee. It was just a few months, probably from spring towards uh, the end of summer. Um, and we were able to get the logo, the conference banner done, um, the word mark, um, and then also the website completely designed by then and up and running. Um, so that is a summary of what they have done. And as for right now, it's not going to be active anymore unless we need to reinstate them for more design work that the network needs. Okay, I'm gonna move right on into the planning committee. Um, so I have mentioned before, uh, the planning committee was made up of five people, including myself, Allison Reynas, Alicia Lilac, uh, Melissa Fisher-Isaacs, and Yonli Zhao. Um, and really what we did in the spring of 2016 was trying to come up with a theme that we thought uh, a majority of kind of the audience we were gearing it toward would want to hear about. Um, and so what we did with that is we did a lot of brainstorming, came up with different topics, and we took what each of the people on the committee came up with and rated those. And then from the top results from that, we came up with the theme title that you saw for the conference, which was the planning and digitizing yesterday to preserve it for tomorrow. Um, and then also uh, we talked about having uh, the conference. Did we want it in person or did we want it a virtual conference? As probably some people know, uh, when you are building a network from ground up, you don't have usually a budget. So the fact that we have a software application here at Kansas State University called Zoom, which is what this conference has run on, that was freely available. Um, and we did get some quotes for in-person conference uh, and we did have that. Uh, that we decide just kind of from a, a fiscal standpoint that we wanted just to, just to do the virtual conference. Um, but we did keep the quotes as something to investigate for next year uh, for our conference that we'll be playing for then. Um, also, in addition to that, um, because of the time that we had, uh, we decided not to do any proceedings, at least for this year. We definitely want to do it for future conferences where it give another professional development opportunity for people in this area to write articles, et cetera, uh, in our proceedings. Um, also, uh, the marketing, as you probably saw, uh, we definitely did a blitz on the listservs, uh, did some social media. Um, that is also something that one of our committee members really helped with, was setting up our social media presence with Twitter, Instagram, our Google Plus profile, um, and also Facebook. Um, and then also, uh, the planning committee uh, will become a standing committee, one of the standing committees that will always be active. Um, and that is something that we will, the new executive committee will go forward when they set up their standing committees to get that started too. Um, that is the summary of kind of what the planning committee accomplished for the last uh, year uh, in planning for the conference that just happened. Um, so our next thing on the agenda is um, the report uh, from the ad hoc executive committee. Um, and really what we're going to do is just kind of do a quick summary of what we worked on or focused on and then kind of really some of those big action items that we are wanting the new executive committee to take on and address for 2017. Um, before I start, for any of the ad hoc committee members that are here uh, and have joined, is there any other comments that you would like to mention before we do the summary of what we did this past year? No takers. Okay. No, I'm 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 good, Amanda. So. <laughs> okay, that's fine. I just wanted to see if any of you wanted to add anything else before we go into our summary. Um, okay, so with the summary of the ad hoc executive committee, we really were very specific on what we focused on. Um, so for the spring of 2016, we really wanted to focus on well, what was the mission 
what did we want the mission of the uh, network to be? And what did we want kind of the vision, the future outlook that we wanted this network to be? Um, and so what we had first done is we kind of looked at um, other professional organization bylaws um, and see what kind of how they crafted it, how what kind of their mission statement was, if they had a vision statement. Um, and we really uh, kind of reviewed those. Uh, each uh, committee member took on or reviewed a couple of these bylaws and gave feedback to the, uh, to the ad hoc committee as a whole. Um, and then we took kind of the feedback there from our meetings and uh, really uh, started discussing kind of, you know, what that mission statement was and what that vision statement was. And uh, real quick, I am just going to pull up our website um, so I can tell you exactly what our mission and vision statement that we came up with. Um, so our mission statement is really, it's, it's found on our website on our about page, but it's the Central Plains Network for Digital Asset Management, CPN DAM, provides professional development, networking, and collaborative opportunities to professionals involved with or interested in digital asset management in Colorado, Kansas, Missouri, Nebraska, and Oklahoma. And the vision statement we uh, took from that what is to serve the region as the leading educational and networking resource for professionals involved with or interested in digital asset management. So those are kind of what uh, we came up for the spring. And once we had kind of a foundation to work from, we started to really go into crafting a, by, a bylaws uh, for the network. Um, and we worked on that throughout the summer. And we also uh, had lots of drafts and revisions of that. And it kind of came up with a final one at the beginning of this fall around September. Um, and as you know, sent that out to be voted on for that. Uh, if there, and so really the goals for the next one, now that we provide that foundation that the executive committee, as I've listed here on the slide that you see, is really we are at a point now where we need to probably look into officially becoming a nonprofit corporation, really figure out working with lawyers to figure out what the membership is and what fees that will entail, setting up our standing committees that we've specified in the bylaws, uh, really uh, work on improving our conference for 2017, incorporating proceedings with that, and really starting to figure out uh, what type of relationships we want with vendor sponsors and organizations who do similar work uh, that we do or provide services that we are familiar with. So those are really kind of the big uh, ticket items that the executive committee for the network is really going to be focusing on over this next year. Um, and then that's something that we will do at our annual meetings, business meetings to update uh, the members uh, kind of the direction that the network will be taking. Um, if there anything else that the um, ad hoc uh, committee members want to add to my summary that maybe I missed that you would want to let the attendees know? The only thing I'd like to add, this is Robin Hastings, by the way. Um, the only thing I would like to add is that Amanda has done an amazing job of leading us through all this. And <laughs> I just wanted to, to be sure that uh, uh, you got some recognition for the hard work you've put in. Here, thank here. You. Okay, thank you. I'm usually a humble person here, so <laughs> um, I, I do thank you for the um, compliment there. Um, so what I'm going to do next is since we had people uh, vote on our bylaws, I am just going to check to see kind of what our current uh, status is. It's 403, but I knew we'd be a little bit ahead. Um, and let me see what our count is here. Uh, looks like the majority. Uh, let's see here. Well, it looks like the majority, and I think everybody was probably a good assumption, is they approve of the bylaws that we crafted. Um, and of course, uh, there was several articles. Article nine was kind of the one that we couldn't really move forward on. And that was kind of the financial uh, area of what the network would be involved in and kind of what they were responsible financially for. So that's something that will be addressed uh, with the nonprofit corporation application to address that article section. And I'm hoping in 2017 that we can have really an official bylaw that has that incorporated in, uh, in it. Um, and then also, let's see here for next agenda item. Um, 
I was just curious, we have a few people here that are attending. Uh, we wanted, uh, the Ad Hoc uh, Executive Committee wanted to get some feedback from anybody, anything that you are interested in what the network could provide or would you like to see provide or just how curiosity and questions you have for the Ad Hoc Executive Committee. If you wanna go ahead and submit any questions through the Q&A, um, I'll go ahead and kind of monitor monitor those and uh, say them out loud, um, and then we can reply or any of the other ad hoc executive committees that are here can say something too. Um, anything else while we're waiting for any Q&A questions from people? Uh, any, any other contributions do you guys have from the ad hoc executive committee? Okay, uh, one thing I do want to mention uh, or really emphasize is we are always looking for feedback from people. So please go to our website, um, which is newprairiepress.org. Uh, and I think actually, let me go to the next slide here. I'll have some contact information. So here, please uh, email us if any questions, interest, you, if you feel like our network could meet a need of yours, please let us know. Um, we'll always try to keep track up to date or things we're doing through our social media. Um, which we use, as I said, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Google+, and also the website. Uh, but we are looking for feedback because the network is really geared to people uh, that our mission statement is really focused for. Um, and we definitely want to meet the need that they're um, lacking or haven't been able to fill, whether through budget constraints or vice versa. So uh, please give us feedback. And I am going to go back here to our closing statements if nothing if no one else has anything to say i think i'll go ahead and close the meeting the business meeting um if no one has anything else to say here i'll pause real quick just in case you have anything to mention Okay, um, once again, I want to recognize all the work that the committee members from the Ad Hoc Executive Committee did, myself included, so <laughs> you guys don't have to come back and say I did a lot of the work. Um, and then officially the bylaws have been approved, and so with the Executive Committee moving forward, they will be following those rules that have been stipulated in that governance documentation. Um, and then also, um, like I said, if you have any additional questions or comments, please email us at the email um, that's up there on the slide. Um, and then also, please, you know, favorite us, uh, keep up with us. Uh, we're going to try to be pretty active with our social media. Uh, we do have a point person who is willing to do that for, for a bit to kind of keep the activity and kind of information flowing through our social media accounts for the network. Uh, but once again, I, I hope you enjoyed the conference and I hope uh, that you guys keep up to date with our network. We're gonna be pretty active and we'll kind of be very transparent on what we're doing so you kind of see where we're going, the direction we're going over the next year or so. Um, if nothing else, I'm gonna go ahead and close the meeting and thank you very much for attending.